Hi everyone, welcome to Stony Brook University's information session. I'm Christina Lafaso. I'm a senior admissions advisor at Stony Brook University in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. And I wanna say thank you for joining us today. I'm here to provide you with some information about the university. While some of you have had the opportunity to visit us in the past, or maybe you were planning on visiting us in the future, we wanted to inform you that we do offer virtual tours of our campus on our website for anyone, anytime. But for those of you that don't know, this is our campus. This is actually only half of our campus and it takes up about 1,000 square acres. Um, but for those of you that don't know, we are a part of the SUNY system, which is the State University of New York. We're actually one of 64 institutions in the SUNY system and one of four university centers. We have the, a large student population with over 17,000 undergraduate students. Our campus is located on the North Shore of Long Island just on the Long Island Sound, on the coast of the Long Island Sound, and we're about 10 minutes in any direction from something quite unique. Just to the north of us, which you can see in the shot on your screen, is West Meadow Beach, which is on the Long Island Sound. To the east of us, you have Port Jefferson, which is a quaint seaport town with great restaurants and boutique shops, as well as a ferry over to Connecticut. The Smith Haven Mall is south of our campus, and it's a great way for students to shop, socialize, or work. But the beautiful Long Island beaches on the South Shore, on the Atlantic Ocean, Long Island MacArthur Airport, and New York City are all easily accessible from campus as well. Our main campus is split into the West Campus, which is what you see here, and houses our residential quads, academic buildings, the academic mall, our athletic facilities, and our administration buildings. And the East Campus, which you only see slightly on the bottom right corner of your screen, is our East Campus, which includes Stony Brook University Hospital, which is a level one trauma center and the largest hospital on Long Island. Um, that hospital actually houses our Health Science Center and the Renaissance School of Medicine. The campus is easily accessible by our students. And in fact, the Long Island Railroad, which you can see slightly in the back towards behind our athletic fields, that stops right on campus. So for students, um, who may want to travel using the railroad, it's an easy way to get to and from campus. We also have stops on the Suffolk County bus system on our campus. So if students need to get to the airport or many other Long Island destinations, it's quite easy to do so. We also have shuttle buses that go to and from local destinations such as Port Jefferson, but also for certain things like grocery shopping, a run to Target, maybe you wanna to go to the movies. So the bus system does offer quite a unique um, accessibility for a lot of students. Um, we also have our internal bus system, which is the Stony Brook University buses. There are six different routes for, that travel all around campus with additional options for our Southampton campus. We have beautiful trails, a wolf ride bike system, and plenty of walkways for our students to utilize as well. Since establishing a university in 1957, we are quite young in university years. We're known as like a little baby university. So um, we take pride in the fact that we are quite accomplished and we have such, come such a long way in such a short amount of time. We are known as the top 1% of all universities in the world, top 40 public universities by US News and World Report, uh, which they actually ranked us in the top 100 of all universities as well. And we were ranked in the top 15 for best value of public colleges by Forbes. In addition, we're also part of the AAU, which is the American Association of Universities, which is an invitation only association featuring the top 62 research institutions throughout the United States. And just recently, we were found to be in the top 25 in the US for social mobility. We pride ourselves on assisting our students climb that economic ladder. With over 200,000 alumni, you'll be joining a large group of family um, known as Sea Wolves that will be part of your life when you're on campus and well beyond after you graduate from SVU. Now our faculty are highly regarded in their fields and include Nobel Prize, Pulitzer Prize, and Grammy Award winners, in addition to published and world-renowned historians, journalists, anthropologists, scientists, and doctors. Our faculty throughout the years have also included many inventors, and in fact, over 2,000 faculty-led inventions um, have been conducted at Stony Brook University. They include the MRI machine, 
the barcode reader, and the cause of Lyme disease, as well as the discovery of certain um, animals and other anthropological uh, things, such as the golden bamboo lemurs, the most primitive bird fossil linking birds to dinosaurs, and a 10-pound ancient frog found in Madagascar. At a student to faculty ratio of 18 to one, you can expect to not only be able to learn from your professors, but enhance your education with the relationships that you build along, with, along the way. Classes can range anywhere from five to 500, with about 75% of our classes being about 50 in size. So your professors will include teaching and grad assistants along the way to support the lectures in and outside of the classroom, as well as in what's known as recitation classes, which are smaller groups of about 20 students, um, which occur for those large seminar style courses on your alternate class days. So don't be scared of those big, big classes. Stony Brook University is broken up into colleges and schools. The largest by far is our College of Arts and Sciences, which has the most majors and the largest number of students. Majors such as art, music, biology, and chemistry are within the college, but it also includes social science programs like psychology and sociology, and general programs such as history, political science, and Africana studies and economics. The College of Engineering and Applied Sciences includes all of our engineering majors such as civil, mechanical, biomedical, and many more engineering programs, and others such as computer science majors. This college by far is the most competitive in the university, and attaining admission into that particular college does require higher than average academics. Our College of Business has a business management degree, with specializations in accounting, finance, operations management, or marketing. The School of Journalism is the only journalism school within the SUNY system, and we kind of pride ourselves on that. Students study news reporting, writing, editing, and producing for all platforms in a hands-on learning environment in the areas of journalism, broadcasting, mass communications, and media. The School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences encompasses majors such as Marine Sciences, Oceanic and Atmospheric Sciences, Environmental Design, Policy and Planning, and Sustainability Studies. Students in this school can take advantage of a semester by the sea, actually living and learning on the coast on the South Shore and um, studying on the deep oceans of the Atlantic Ocean. For those students who are interested in health sciences, we have a few different types of schools for you. We have our School of Nursing and our School of Social Welfare, which are both known as upper division programs. Those two particular schools would be for students looking to become a nurse or a social worker. And you would apply for those schools in your second year of study at Stony Brook University. If admitted to those schools, you would start taking classes in your junior year and complete your degree in your senior year. The School of Health Technology and Management has both clinical and non-clinical areas that include things like clinical lab studies, healthcare policy and management, health science, and respiratory care. But they also have master's programs in things like occupational therapy, physician's assistant, physical therapy, and athletic training. And then we have our School of Medicine and Dental Medicine. Our School of Medicine and Dental Medicine are both located on our campus uh, for students looking to continue their education in those particular fields. Students complete their required coursework at the bachelor level, at the undergraduate level, and then start applying and taking their testing to get into those types of programs in their junior and senior year. For students like this and others who are looking to get into a few different types of professional fields, we do have what's known as pre-professional preparation support. All students will have an undergraduate uh, college advisor that we will talk about in just a few minutes. However, every student gets an academic advisor as well. Those academic advisors will assist them in their course selection, timely completion of their degrees, and taking a rigorous amount of coursework without overexerting our students. But advisement is a multi-tiered system at Stony Brook University. We also include these pre-professional advisors for students to discuss their academic goals in these particular fields. So for students looking to get into healthcare, 
perhaps go on to law school, or like we said, get into medical school, dental school, or even veterinary school, or maybe they want to become a teacher. These pre-professional advisors will assist them in when to take their required exams, how to research schools, and help guide them through the application process. Other types of support on campus include free tutoring for all students, a writing center, the Student Accessibility Support Center for students with disabilities, success workshops, counseling, and other support centers, and even our own health center, including a pharmacy available to students right on campus. To enhance the student experience, Stony Brook University has adopted an experiential learning model for their students. As our university is widely known as a research-based institution, What's quite unique are the amount of research opportunities we have for undergraduate students. Students are able to assist in research opportunities available on our campus in our facilities, labs, hospital, and even our own research and development park. In addition to special opportunities at the Brookhaven National Laboratory, which is a federally funded facility. Students are able to meet with the Undergraduate Research and Creative Activities Program, otherwise known as Eureka, to discover all of the existing opportunities available with faculty, staff, and other world-renowned doctors and scientists. But Eureka will also assist students in how to help um, them find funding for their own research, should that be something that students want to take part in. Students can also seek out internships and volunteer work on and off campus in science or um, many, many other different types of fields um, in our hospital settings, community outreach settings, or even our environmental settings. Another type of experiential learning is our study away programs. Our students are able to take advantage of close to 200 different study abroad programs at Stony Brook University in over 25 different countries all around the globe. But being that all of our students are SUNY students as well, they are actually able to participate in any SUNY study abroad program, which encompasses about a thousand different opportunities in about 200 different countries. So really the world is your option. For students looking to potentially study in different parts of our very large country, we also have a national exchange program. This is wonderful for students that are maybe studying marine science and want to learn different ecosystems in different parts of the country. Students can visit our study abroad office to learn more about the semester, winter, and or summer session programs, perhaps how to apply for scholarships to fund these types of programs and, deter and to determine which program may be right for you because there's so many. Now, starting college can be a new and challenging step for a lot of students, most students, I would say. And we know that assimilating to a new living situation and edu educational plan can be quite intimidating. So what we've done, we, we've actually created these six different undergraduate colleges. And these colleges are based out of our six different residential quads, but all freshmen, including commuter students, are required to be a part of one of these undergraduate colleges. Each one has its own theme that have nothing to do with your academics and should be chosen based on your own personal interest. Think of them as living and learning communities. It's a way to meet students outside of your own major. Sometimes this is a perfect way for a student in a science program to get to know more people in a leadership and service college or perhaps the arts, culture and humanities college. Or maybe a music student wants to join our science and society college. As I mentioned before, each undergraduate college will have their own first year advisors to assist them with academic advising and other skills needed to succeed, um, such as time management, stress management, and many, many other tools. In addition, students will be broken up for their freshman seminar courses in their first and second semester with only 18 other students. These undergraduate colleges create a small community of students and allows for new students to be able to quickly meet and engage each other, which enables them to automatically feel like they are already part of the SBU family. At Stony Brook, we also have complimentary university-wide events for all students, which are usually free, um, including our beloved tradition of the Roth Pond Regatta. This event happens in the spring semester and has groups of students faculty and staff from all over the university to get together and get from one side of the pond to the other in a handmade boat. 
However, this boat can only be made out of two materials, cardboard and duct tape. So it's really a great way to cheer on your classmates that might make it across that pond, but it's an even better way to cheer on those that don't. We also have concerts on campus um, with some pretty big acts, a sustainability focused event called Earth Stock, our three day homecoming extravaganza, um, which is a great way to meet over a lot of alumni over the course of that weekend because they do come out in full effect for that homecoming game. Um, but there are a lot more university wide events to choose from. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to get involved on campus. For those students looking to get even more involved, we have about 400 different clubs and activities to choose from, which include everything from student government, academic clubs, volunteer and service based clubs, Greek life, personal interest clubs, and so much more. A lot of clubs not only naturally include networking with other students, but they also might get alumni and professionals in their field involved as well. So it's a great opportunity to get involved, to potentially find a mentor, or discover a whole new area of a field you may be interested in. But it's also a great way just to let loose and find other students who may like the same music you do, who love to step, or who may want to play on our phenomenal esports teams. For students who are serious about sports, Stony Brook University is a Division I school with the NCAA. Our men's baseball team won the College World Series. Our men's basketball team made it to March Madness in 2016. The women's basketball team were conference champions this year. The women's soccer team are all American East champions. And we've had a runner in the past two Summer Olympics. Having our Division I sports and Wolfie as our Seawolf mascot creates a fun atmosphere any day of the week, but especially on Fridays or game days when we wear red with pride. We also offer intramural and club sports, which are a little bit less competitive and less time consuming for those students unable to play on our Division I sport teams. For those students just looking to live an active lifestyle or remain active, we also have a great recreational center on campus with cardio and weightlifting areas, uh, which to be honest are much nicer than any gym I've ever seen. Um, but they also have personal training, open floor space for pickup basketball games or volleyball matches, and event fitness classes for everything from yoga to tai chi to self-defense classes. Now living on campus, our students love to know that we are the largest residential population in all of SUNY. We actually have about over 10,000 students living on campus, so we are a city in and of itself. That number will continue to increase as there are already plans for building new dormitory buildings on campus in the next couple of years. All freshman students are guaranteed housing for all four years at Stony Brook, so you will always have a home with us if you want one. Freshman students have two housing styles to choose from for their first two years, which include corridor style and suite style. Corridor style is kind of like what you see in the movies or on TV. It's a long hallway with rooms on each side with two or three students in each room who all share a communal bathroom and living space in that corridor. Suite style is more like an apartment in that there's only two or three bedrooms that share a bathroom and a living space. However, there are still about two or three students in each bedroom. All quads include fitness and computer facilities, and some of our buildings are known as cooking facilities with a kitchen, and others are substance free. So it's important for our students to decide what's important to them when deciding on what area to live in. We have a wide variety of food options on our campus, not just for dorm students, but for commuter students as well. We have two buffet style dining halls known as East Side Dining and West Side Dining on opposite sides of the campus with everything from sushi to ethnic food to pizza. We also have dining options for students who would like to create their own salads, stop at a New York deli, get some fresh Mexican food or many, many other options. In addition, we also have two Starbucks on campus, a Subway and a Hershey's ice cream available for any of our students. Maybe you just want to uh, pick up a quick meal or want to purchase items for your dorm to keep in your refrigerator or your freezer. So we also have marketplaces around campus, which are set up like small stores, including food items, beauty and health items, and other personal care items. 
And on top of it all, we have something known as the Wolfie Wallet system. Wolfie Wallet is where students can add funds onto their student cards uh, to reduce the amount of cash handling and the need for cash on you at all times. Um, this can be used in places like Panera, Jamba Juice, the local bagel place, and many other areas in the Stony, not only on the Stony Brook campus, but also in the Stony Brook community. If you're interested in applying, you should know that Stony Brook is a rolling admission school and does not participate in early action or early decision. We have one deadline for all applicants, and it doesn't matter when you apply, as long as your application is complete by the time that deadline rolls around. After that deadline, we will continue to accept applications on a rolling basis until we are no longer able to. Our deadline for the fall semester is January 15th, but that does not mean to apply on January 14th. We suggest having your application submitted anytime between October and December to ensure that your high school will be able to forward us any admissions documents they have on file for you, which I'll get into in just a minute. We begin to review completed applications when we can, but promise to have all decisions out by April 1st so that by May 1st, which is National College Signing Day, you've had enough time to compare all of your admissions offers and financial aid packages to decide on where you will be going. That way you can commit to becoming the next Seawolf by May 1st. We accept the SUNY application or the Common App application, but do not have a preference to either one. Each application will also include an application fee and an essay. Transcripts showing grades from all three years of study in high school will be required in addition to SAT and or ACT scores. We super score student scores, so please feel free to send us any and all scores that you may have um, by requesting an official score report from either College Board or ACT. While all students are required to submit at least one letter of recommendation, other students applying for programs such as music or creative writing will also have to audition or perhaps send in a creative writing sample. Students applying for any of our honors programs, which we'll speak about in just a couple of slides, will also be required to submit an essay to the honors program of their choice as well. For those of you taking AP test, college credit courses, or IB courses in high school, I also wanna let you know that in addition to them aiding in, your, in the academic rigor of coursework that we will see on your transcript, they may also provide you with transfer credits upon entering SBU. AP tests with a score of three or higher, college credit courses with a grade of C or higher, or IB courses and tests with a score of five or higher on your higher level IB exams will all earn you college credit. However, we do not need these scores or college transcripts for admissions purposes. In fact, we request that you only send these to us if you're admitted to the university and after you've completed the coursework in your senior year. Now, before I move on to the next slide, please remember that at Stony Brook, we do not have minimum scores that minimum admissions requirements that we work with. So what I'm about to show you are averages, not minimums. Say it again with me. Averages, not minimums. This is the fall 2019 class profile, showing again averages, not minimums. And the average incoming student to Stony Brook had between a 91 and a 97 GPA on a 100 point scale, and about a 1250 to 1420 on the SATs. We received over 27,000 applications, oh, 37,000 applications, excuse me, um, and enrolled just over 3,300 every year. So you can see why we're known as a moderately competitive institution with an acceptance rate of about 44% each year. Our students are coming primarily from New York State, being that we are a public university in the SUNY system, but our students also hail from about 26 other states or more, and anywhere from, I would say, 30 to 35 different countries at any given time. We're one of the most diverse colleges within the SUNY system and one of the most diverse in the state, with a large array of students from all different types of backgrounds. Now, I brought this up before, but to get back to it, we do have some honors programs for you to apply to on your initial admissions application. These three honors programs are the Honors College, our WISE program, 
otherwise known as Women in Science and Engineering, and University Scholars. These three programs vary slightly in size and offerings. They all require high grades and test scores in order to even be eligible. The Honors College is a curriculum-based program where honors coursework will replace your general Stony Brook curriculum. The WISE program is for women entering into the STEM fields to offer you faculty mentorship, as well as special research and networking opportunities. And University Scholars is based around service, but does have a small honors curriculum. Not all high achieving students will be selected for these programs, but there are plenty of other honors programs at Stony Brook for you to discover if admitted to the university. For students who get their start at another college or university, we do accept transfer applicants for both spring and fall semesters. Transfer students should apply by March 1st for the fall semester or November 1st for the spring semester. And transfer students can apply online using the SUNY application, which is preferred, or the, Q or the common application. As long as you meet the minimum criteria of having earned 24 or more college credits by the time that you submit your application, all we need is your college transcript in order to review your application. And that's it. It's a nice and easy process. We do look for around a 3.0 cumulative GPA for all majors. With other majors such as any of our engineering or our business programs requiring not only a higher GPA, but some other course requirements as well. For transfer applicants looking to transfer before they've earned those 24 college credits, you must also submit your high school transcript and SAT or ACT scores um, in order to be reviewed for admission. We encourage students to utilize the transfer equivalency database on our website to conduct their own unofficial transfer evaluation before registering for courses at another institution or to see what credits they may receive when transferring into SBU. You can search by school or by course. Now, what's interesting to know is our tuition is quite affordable no matter where you live. The estimated cost of attending Stony Brook is based on your residency, whether that be in New York State or out of New York State. As a public university, New York State residents are guaranteed our lowest tuition rate. So with tuition, fees, room and board, and all of those added up, we are just under $25,000 a year. For those students living outside of New York State, we're just a touch over 42,000, which is still an affordable value for all that I've already explained, all that the university has to offer and those academic choices available. These figures do not include any financial aid or scholarships, and in fact, close to 80% of our students receive financial aid with an average package price of around $13,000. So it's an affordable choice and a great value for those of you who are bargain hunters. Now, once students graduate from Stony Brook, they become one of our Seawolves for life and join our 200,000 strong network of uh, alumni. We actually survey, surveyed our alumni recently and found that 94% were gainfully employed or continuing their education. So it's a really great phenomenal feature of Stony Brook. We were ranked as a best buy with a high return on investment because we provide our students with a strong academic background and with all of those other academic enhancements I've spoken about, we give them the experience and knowledge necessary to propel them into their futures with as little debt as possible. Our goal is to not only ensure your success when you're with us, but even after you leave us. So that one day when someone asks you, what's a Seawolf? You can say, I'm a Seawolf. That concludes my presentation and our information session. And I thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you were able to discover something new about Stony Brook University and gain a better sense of all that we have to offer. I wish you much luck in your college exploration process and should you have any questions for us, please feel free to reach out to us by email at enroll at stonybrook.edu or you can check our website for other virtual opportunities and ways to connect with us. Thanks and have a great day.